Is this the real reason why people give up? Good morning. If you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, drop a replay. So got busy morning of sessions. Then we are off to Oxford Brooks University today to lecture to uh, year two um, BSc students all about behaviour change. And speaking of which, about stopping. Why do people stop? Well, we've got our five day kickstart at the moment. And it's really interesting to see um over the years of working with thousands of people now in terms of behavior change, the psychology around it, the nutritional research and getting started. And quite often, if you start off, it's, it's quite interesting that quite often we see it as fear of looking silly, fear of doing something and not succeeding. Why is that? Well, maybe we're worried about what other people think. Maybe we're worried about what other people will say. Maybe we're lacking confidence to fail. And maybe we've been told that quote unquote failing or not succeeding all the time is not a good thing when actually when it comes to nutrition and and training we get all these questions and really quite often the answer is it depends and when you look at research the answer is it depends so what we sometimes need to do is try things and some things will work really well some weeks you're going to do something then you're going to go you know i felt that in my lower back maybe actually or making quite a lot maybe too much here okay let's let's put that back a little bit okay with my food this isn't working right now. I'm not, I'm struggling to stick to it. Okay, let's try adding in this instead. And quite often we're worried, oh, should I try? I'm not sure it's a bit of a risk, but isn't it a risk anyway, not doing anything? Isn't it a risk staying the same, especially if we're not happy with where we are right now in our life? You know, we only live once, yet we're not willing to take a risk that something that could be very successful, life-changing for our energy, our mobility, getting up and down from the floor, our health, which... You know, let's face it, if we have our health, we've got everything. And quite often we look at this as a risk of going, oh, I don't know if I should try that just in case it's not the right diet for me, just in case this isn't the right exercise for me. And of course, we have to be sure that we're making the right decision where we're with professionals, people who are evidence based, hopefully. But at the same time, we have to be willing to not fail, quote unquote, but try things to see what's going to work for us and that is the best way to know what's going to work for you so today if you if you're looking at starting something or if you're thinking about us oh, isn't working ask what's working what's positive about this right now what could i change is quite often our mindset is so key here are we looking for reasons why we can't do everything it's like i can't do that what about this? Oh, I can't do that. That won't work because of this. Okay, I can't do this, but what could I do? Could I try this? And the great thing is, is sometimes you don't have to get, you don't have to do it all to get the results you want. Sometimes you just got to be about 70% there. But you're only going to know that from doing it. Quite often we feel like it has to be this all or nothing thing. What happens if instead of going from all to nothing, we just went halfway? We did 50% and then we went up to all when we can. But our quote unquote bad days, instead of going to nothing, we just kept at 50%. What will we'll be different a year from now? Just a few things to think about today. Anyway, have an awesome day. Any questions, let me know and I'll see you soon. Take care.